we have 20% of the world's deaths from the coronavirus and we're only 4% of the world's population. Well, you don't know what you have. Do you think you're getting honest numbers from some of these countries? Do you really believe those numbers in this vast country called China and that they have a certain number of cases and a certain number of that? Does anybody really believe that? Here's the story. We report everything. We're reporting the cases and our reporting is good. We're reporting every death. In fact, I see this morning where New York added 3,000 deaths because they died, and they're now saying, rather than it was a heart attack, they're saying it was a heart attack caused by this, so they're adding. Uh, if you look at it, that's it. And everything we have is documented, reported. And what they are doing is, just in case, they're calling it this, and that's okay, that's okay. But we are, we have more cases because we do more reporting. We have more cases because everything is down. But does anybody really believe the numbers of some of these countries that you've been watching and you've been reporting on, and then it's like they didn't have the big thing? There have been some really, really bad, heavily and in, in really some countries that are in big, big trouble, and they're not reporting the facts. And that's up to them. All I know is we report the facts, and we're a country that's getting better. President, uh, multiple sources are telling Fox News today that the United States government now has high confidence that while the coronavirus is a naturally occurring virus, it emanated from a virology lab in Wuhan, that because of lax safety protocols, an intern was infected, who later infected her boyfriend, and then went to the wet market in Wuhan, where it began to spread. Does that correspond with what you have heard from well, officials. Well, I don't want to say that, John, but I will tell you uh, more and more we're hearing the story. And we'll see. When you say multiple sources, now there's a case where you can use the word sources. But uh, we are doing a very thorough examination of this horrible situation that happened. Go ahead, please. In your many conversations with President Xi, Mr. President, did you ever discuss with him State Department concerns about lax safety protocols that had been reported to the State Department from the embassy in Beijing about that laboratory. I don't want to discuss what I talked to him about the laboratory. I, I just don't want to discuss it. It's inappropriate right now. Please go ahead in the back. Uh, Tim Alvia from Channel 9 Australia. Uh, there have been calls in our country for uh, Prime Minister Scott Morrison to make funding for WHO conditional on reforms to the organization. I wanted to get your thoughts on that and if you had any advice for Mr. Morrison. Look, I feel very badly about the World Health Organization but it's been a tool of China. It's been, as I say, totally China-centric. You take a look at everything that's happened, they've been wrong. I was all for it at the beginning. What do I know? I walked in, I said, World Health Organization, isn't that wonderful? And then you start to see all the mistakes. They didn't want us to close our borders to China, to Wuhan, specifically. They didn't want our borders closed. You take a look, Mike was there, we we're all there, and they're criticizing me for closing the border. I did that very early. By the way, I did that very early while Nancy Pelosi was trying to have in San Francisco parties in Chinatown because they, she thought it would be great. She wanted to show that this thing doesn't exist. These are people, I'll tell you, we have some politicians on the other side that don't know what they're doing. If you look at, if you look at timelines, you gotta look at some timelines, but the world, the World Health Organization, just like the World Trade Organization, I'm telling you, I call them, they have been treating the United States for decades so badly, and they've been so in favor of China. China took off when it joined the World Trade Organization because of what's happened. Think of it, they're considered a developing nation, and because they're a, de and we're not. Well, we're a developing nation too in my book, okay? We're developing too. But the fact is, we have been treated so badly by these organizations, and believe me, I'm looking at that one too. We're winning a lot of lawsuits right now that we never won before in the past. We're winning a lot of money that we never won in the past. That's with the World Trade. But with the World Health Organization, uh, what's happened there is a disgrace. Here's the other thing. We pay 400 to 500 million dollars a year. China's paying 38, 39, and 40 million dollars a year. And it's like they control this group. I could do that too if I want to devote full time to it or have some very capable people dealing with Dr. Tedros, okay? I could do it too. I could do very well with that. But there's something going on. There's something going on that's very bad. Now, the 500 million that we save, 
we'll determine. We're going to make a determination over a little period of time. But they're going to either have to make massive changes. I don't even know if they're going to be able to do that. Or we're going to give money to people. We want to help people. You know, what we do in Africa with AIDS, people have no idea what we do and the money we spent. We were talking about it the other day, doctor. We are spending billions of dollars to help people. In the case of uh, one that Dr. Burks is very much involved in, AIDS, billions of dollars. And you know what, it's a great thing. Nobody talks about it, nobody gives us credit. We do that and we do it very directly. But we're spending billions of dollars to help people live and all over the world. But we're spending $500 million to the World Health Organization and there's something very bad going on. And you know what? I've gotten very much involved. It's been going on for a long period of time and we don't want to be the suckers anymore. So it's cold out. We will talk to you tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. Very big day. Thank you. Y China están poniendo las bases para lograrlo. RP es una televisora rusa. La RBRP es de Rusia. Rusia y China han vuelto a la arena internacional con nuevas ideas y con el planteamiento de un nuevo orden mundial. A estas horas está un nivel de cocción muy pero muy alto. El presidente ruso también ha reprendido a Estados Unidos por dar lecciones sobre libertad e igualdad. El presidente ruso lo sí, tiene ya claro. Ya sé, ya sé lo que algunas personas van a decir. Tal parece que estamos a las puertas de una nueva era, con un nuevo orden mundial. ¿Lo quiere Estados Unidos o no? Si se demuestra que el ejército de Estados Unidos no es tan fuerte como parece, el dólar tampoco. Rusia y China están poniendo las bases para lograrlo. Pero de lo que parece Rusia lo tiene China, así que ambos se complementan. De empezar sin la guerra contra China, los militares estadounidenses volverían a su patria con el rabo. Y aquí cabe volver a destacar que el objetivo principal de Rusia es allanar el camino para que China, país amigo históricamente, tome las riendas del nuevo orden mundial. Esto está todo mal.